So, this finally arrived today from my Amazon haul. I was also expecting the other doll, but I'm guessing they're shipped from different sources. This one, I have been wanting her for 20 years, and now I finally have her. This is the My Room edition of Laura from the Generation Girls. She even still has her KB Toys price tag sticker up here in the corner. Only at $22.99. And that was money back then. That really was. Alright, so. Also on the back, you can see that they had the other ones that were included in the line. The only one that I actually had was Anna. And if I could, I would get that one again. Oops. It's okay, my phone fell. We're all good. So I'm going to get this opened and do a review as soon as I can. I have a very sore wrist. So bear with me. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the second 20 year old doll that I have acquired with my big purchases. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it comes with the extra walls and the floor. I'd forgotten. <laughs> okay. The great thing is, is that this is like, made like a show, uh, a show, ah, uh, damn it. I don't, don't want to say a show box. Um, shadow box. There we go. Okay, uh, good thing is that there's not a lot holding her in the here, and they actually just use thread rather than the plastic and metal wires. Mm. Yeah, I gotta be really careful about this little cardboard artist mannequin. A lot of accessories are still being made out of cardboard at the time. Okay. Laura was always one of my favorites from the Generation Girls because she's the artist. And at the time that these were came, these came out, I was still in high school, and I was heavily involved in art. Uh, so I bonded well to the character of Laura, even though personality-wise, I'd say I was more like Tori. <laughs> Everyone had the cute little flip phones with video chats way ahead of its time. Or at least this was just a picture to just let you know who's uh, calling. But it's it's fun to pretend that the dolls can video chat um, because we certainly didn't have that at the time. Okay, there's that precious little artist mannequin. All right, so there's the plastic mold that held everything. Okay, and then with the room, <laughs> there goes the desk, with the room, there's a little clear shelf right here that you can stick the mannequin in right there. Alright, so this is her floor. We have hardwood with an artistic rug. And then we have um, uh, okay, there's more. Oh, and then uh, <laughs> here's the instructions. 
Okay, here's the wall. Cardboard's a little dirty. <laughs> so it shows all her great art supplies. The details that they put into every shelf, all the rooms. Okay, and this I think might actually be part of the bed. Because here's the frame, and then this, yeah, this would be the bed. Okay. Looking at the instructions. Yep, the cardboard piece is the bed. This shows illustration wise how you set it up all right we have a plush pillow purple flower we do have an actual desk it is plastic it also has um, hinges so I think it's supposed to be able to tilt on it we have some artistic tools and a groove that holds a pencil. I'm just going to keep those taped in place so I don't lose them in my bed. Laura herself has a beautiful mixture of uh, different browns in her hair. So we have some auburn and some dark chocolate. And she wears this poncho shawl thing with the embroidered rose and some fringe over a beautiful purple tank top, some very trippy multi-pattern pants, which I actually had a pair like this, but they were um, shorts. She has some metallic pink socks, and then she's got white and pink sneakers with black laces, because they were all about the details back then. She's got one of the metal spring bracelets. This one is pink. Um, when I got Tori, I got the... Uh, the dance party one, she came with two little uh, metal ones that were just gray in color. She has little pearl earrings that are actually a pale blue. Her eyes, I want to say, are just kind of like, they're just gray and lavender. Very beautiful eyes. And nice, beautiful red lipstick. And she has painted nails, and these are black or dark purple kind of hard to tell her articulation for the time she has waist pivot it was kind of sort of slanted she has elbows shoulder head rotation and snap knees even though I love the fact that they come with uh, painted nails, I don't always like the um, articulation of the dolls. But for now, I will keep her on her body as is because I don't have a suitable, uh, better articulated one to give to her. But at some point, it will be considered. <sighs> For a doll that has been in her box for 20 years, she's in very good condition, and there's no damage to anything. Although I do see a little bit of, like, dirt. Um, like, some slight dirt smudging on her legs. But that's okay. Let's see, we also have this cardboard uh, cutout of jar of paints, framed picture some flowers, the artist mannequin, okay those are the cardboard ones, and then her real accessory um, is this ballerina which looks like it's being made out of clay. And of course Laura is uh, French for the generation girls, each one of them came from um, some part of the country. So Nichelle was from New York, and um, Barbie was from California, and Tori was from Australia, and Laura was from France, and Chelsea from England. So each one of them brought their own 
international mix to this group of friends, which I thought was really fantastic. Well done, well thought out, very inclusive. And so, obviously, uh, from France, she could just go to any museum and be able to see uh, classic art and just go and start crafting. And then, of course, we get the little magazines that comes with each generation girl. And inside are pictures from all the other dolls uh, in their rooms, what their themes are, some of the accessories that they have, just talking about everything. And then this picture is actually showcasing some of the individual fashions, but I was never able to get any of those, which, you know, sucks because I really wanted to get some. <clears throat> mm. I am still just, it's like, come on, pinch me. I, oh, it's like, I actually have this. So you'll see that the cardboard box has this plastic over it. That needs to stay. So that way the things in the room stay where they are. Like the chandelier and the frame for the window and uh, the frame for the bed. So what I'm supposed to do is put the shelf, the desk right back there. And then when I'm ready to assemble the bed, I just put that like that with the end of it because it matches. And <clears throat> then take this wall and have it right here with the floor like so. And it's really great because if any of you watch my froggy stuff videos, she would make rooms out of boxes. And it's pretty much the same basic principle as this to have like a, like a cereal box and then you have flaps that can fold back and then you put everything inside and put it away for storage. So this was definitely uh, ahead of its time when it comes to the just the cool factor on yes we we all have a room in a box barbie was you know pioneering on that kind of thing but just the level of detail and, and the realness because some of them would have pictures in the back they have backgrounds like of the new york city skylight and stuff but this isn't your basic Oh, we're going to have a, a doll background. I mean, just look at the details of your, everything. Speakers, art stuff, the lights, the supplies. And not everything's hot pink either. All right, so um, I've been going on for about 13 minutes now about this, this room, this doll. And I am just over the moon, so happy because now I finally have her. And I do have another Laura doll that I actually acquired at the flea market who happened to just be fully dressed. It was amazing. But now I have one that's like really complete with everything. And I'm just so, so happy. All right. So stay tuned. I do have one more doll to review when she finally gets here. And I... I actually don't mind that I paid twice as much as the sticker price, but that's just because I had the money to finally do so. This has been the My Room Laura Generation Girl opening and review. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!